I don't know how this um, video will go down, you see. I, I hope that this these words stick. Because it's in these words, if you allow them with it to go within, is a kind of password, you see. And these words may not make sense, but these words, if they're taken in and accepted for what they are, with no mind, not giving a solution, not giving a direction, not giving a meaning, not giving an understanding. But these words are very important if they sit within. And when I say within, not in your head, these words have to be taken within and you can repeat them for as long as you like, because they're a kind of password that eliminates belief, eliminates hope and desire, and eliminates mental understanding, mental intelligence, conditioned learning. So what these words say is a password to what they will open up for you. So you don't have to get excited about these words. You don't have to get excited about them. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to say them. I just want them to go within Watch them going within and let them sit within your hara or your heart, wherever you want them to remain. Because this password, it, the words will sound that it is the opposite, opposite of what they mean. But you have to trust, you see. You have to trust that everything that you've been told is a lie. Everything that everyone has ever told you is a lie. Jesus, Buddha, Shiva, Ramana, Papaji, Adyashanti, Ram, even this one, even UG Krishnamurti, even Eckhart Tolle, all lies. Everything up to this point, everything up to this point has been lies. And your whole life is a lie. Your whole existence, a lie. Your whole past, a lie. So these words will sound very... They are very recognizable to your mind, and your mind will say, <laughs> I know that one, you see. What is the reason for these words, mind will say, when it means something very negative? But you have to ignore mind. You have to take these words very, very calmly, very peacefully, with no intent, with no real need for them to do anything you see because they may not they will not do anything you see they will not do anything if you're expecting something to happen and they will not do anything if you believe that okay it's simply the opposite of what it's saying you know so if you look for the opposite you're not going to find it again it's not about what the words mean. It is about the words. So here we go. Very, very simple. Very simple.
no one will find or seek truth out. No one will find or seek truth out. To see truth, you have to be taken out. To see truth, you have to be taken out. You can repeat these words to yourself. You can rewind this video and write them down or whatever. But I'll repeat them in one sentence. No one will find or seek truth out. To see truth, you have to be taken out. And you can replace it with I. You can replace it with I if you want to say these words to yourself. No one will find or seek truth out. To see truth, I have to be taken out. I have to be taken out. Now these words, they came. These words came, you see. Now I'm not going to describe what these words mean. Because if you want to look at the words, I don't want you to look at the words, you see. I don't want you to do that. But if you analyze the words, it may sound negative, you see. And you don't want negativity. And you don't want positivity. You just want to sit with these words. No one will find or seek truth out. To see truth, I have to be taken out. This is a wonderful password, you see, a wonderful secret. Because it's been revealed, you see, it has been revealed to pass this on. I don't know why, you see, I never used these words before. I never used these words. I never used them in my awakening or enlightenment, but I can't remember yesterday. <laughs> never mind awakening and enlightenment. You know, I, there was no one really, there was no I to remember what happened this morning, you know. It is very, very vague. But it is beautiful, you see. It is beautiful to be vague, to only live with the present moment, to only see what is happening around you now, and to only be interested into what is happening around you now. You have choice to memorize things that happened years ago. You have choice to look into the future again, but it is not important, you see. You'll know as soon as you try and do that, you're going to be pulled back to the now. But you can do it, you know. This is, God is not a sadist. Choose both lives. See both lives. Form life, formless life. Form life, human body life, subtle body life. Experience them both today, now. But realize that you are neither. But you are experiencing both now. So when this goes, even spirit goes, even consciousness goes. You, the essence that you are, 
the love that you are, the nothingness that you are, the stable, untarnished, unblemished, unrecognizable, with no substance, are, is here and now. You are this one moment. No one will find or seek truth out. To see truth, I have to be taken out. You have to be taken out. Namaste. I wish you well. Maybe these words are for you, and maybe not. But you keep listening, you see. You keep listening. You listen to all gurus, all hundreds of gurus on YouTube. Wonderful YouTube. Wonderful YouTube is giving you the opportunity. But every single guru is pointing at you. Every single guru who has experienced this pure enlightenment, this pure voice of God, is going to point at you and you are the answer you are the answer when you're taken out namaste